Hello, this video is going to show how we can achieve functional safety using the Renesas E squared Studio. Now, I have a, a target connected to my PC at the moment. It's an RX 231 and it has an onboard E2 light debugger. Now, this is E squared Studio. I have a, a number of projects here and the one I'm interested in is this one here. I've got some simple source code see the source code over here. Let's build this. So let's do a build and there we can see that has successfully built our executable and so now I should be able to run this on my target. So I'm going to go and debug as a GDB um, hardware debugging. So it's going to connect to my board, download and I should then be able to start debugging. So let's just run this until we get to my breakpoint. There we're in the main. And so now I can start to single step through this code and debug it. So there's my code that's running. Now there's a number of things that I want to be able to do. First of all, I want to be able to see is my code compliant to a standard such as MISRA. I want to look at the quality of the code and I want to execute the code. And as it executes, I want to find out, well, how much of this code have we actually exercised? And then I want to do some unit testing in order to maybe complement the coverage and get 100% structural coverage. So what I've done is I've installed the LDRA perspective into the E squared studio. I've now selected that. And the first thing I'm going to do is to say, well, I've got some additional files here that I'm not interested in. And so what I've done is I've told LDRA to just ignore these files here. The only ones I'm interested in are the ones that I've created here. So I've set that up. And so now I'm simply going to go and perform a static analysis. So this is now created a set <clears throat> from these files here and it's starting to do analysis. I've selected the standard, the MISRA C 2012 and it's doing a, a deep analysis on that code. So when this is finished, we're going to be able to take a look and see, well, how compliant is this code? OK, it's just generating a number of reports and we should now be able to go to the violations tab and we can see we have a lot of violations here. Well, let's take a look at some of these and this one, for instance, literal value requires a use suffix. Well, let's double click and that's going to open up the editor and it's taken me to the place where, well, that's fairly easy to, to fix. I could put a, a capital U in there. All right. Well, what about the, the quality of the code? Let's maybe take a look at a core graph. So a number of different core graphs we could view. I'm going to view a maintainability metrics core graph because I particularly want to see what is the psychomatic complexity of the functions in my code. I can see here by sorting that this is the most complex. Well, let's take a look at a flow graph. And the flow graph is going to give us a graphical representation of the code. And we can see that if we click on a particular block of code, we can see the corresponding code over here. If we were to click on this particular block of code, we can see it corresponds to this block here. So these are the branches. If I click on a branch, we can see this is the branch from here to there. All right, so what I'd like to be able to do is to execute this code and as it executes, find out how much of the code have we actually exercised. So I'm going to put inst I'm going to instrument the code. I'm going to put breakpoints at the start and at the end of every uh, block of code. So let's go and perform the dynamic analysis. So first of all, I'm going to instrument the code. So let's wait for that to to instrument all the files. It's also done a a build. So now I'm going to be able to go and execute the code. And this is going to use the same debugger, the E2 Lite debugger. We can see here we're connecting. We're using GDB. We're setting breakpoints. We're hitting the breakpoints. We're reading data from the, the target, saved it to the host. And now we can actually perform the dynamic analysis. We can look at the results we got back from the target. And we're going to be able to see the coverage we've obtained. So again, it's just finishing generating some reports and we'll be able to see the coverage down here that we've obtained. So there we have the, the coverage. So 
not looking too bad. Well, let's take a, a different view of this. Let's generate a dynamic overview report. And there we can see very clearly that we have full coverage for these functions. But for the integer to ASCII function, we haven't yet got a full coverage. Well, let's go into there and we can see we've executed once. <clears throat> and as we scroll down, we can see we haven't executed any of these lines of code. Why not? Well, it looks like we've never had a value less than 180. So if I want to get full coverage for this, then I could create some unit tests using tbrun. So let's invoke tbrun. So tbrun is a unit testing tool. And what I'm going to do is open a sequence that I've created previously. So here I've got my sequences of test cases. I'm going to load in this one for the function integer to ASCII. And we can see over here we have seven test cases. For each one, we can see the inputs and expected outputs. So let's go and execute this on the target. So it's generated a harness. It's built it and it's now connecting to the E2 Lite debugger. It's downloading. It's now executing. We're hitting the breakpoints. We're reading data from the target. We're then going to post process this data and then we should be able to find that hopefully all our tests have passed and we should be able to see that we have increased coverage. OK, that's now finished. The good news is all our tests have passed, which means with these inputs, we've got the outputs that we expected. And at the same time, we should now have increased the coverage for our function integer to ASCII. And there we can see very clearly we have a 100% statement branch and MCDC. So hopefully that's given you an idea of how we can work with Renesas e -Square Studio. And if you'd like more information, then please don't hesitate to contact us at LDRay. Thank you.